and welcome to another Reckless Eating Short, aka We Short. Mad Zion going alone here. Look at this thing, it's getting out of control. How much longer will it go before I cave once again? Hey, I saw at our local liquor store, uh, Liquor Rama, uh, that they had the brand new collaboration of Jack Daniels and Coca Cola. So, Jack Daniels, one of the very, very old original reviews, which is now gone thanks to <laughs> YouTube and being stupid, was. Uh, a Jack Daniels beverage that was like a pre-mixed thing. It's way back in the day when we went to Johnson Valley. It was myself and uh, Brad Blackwell, who used to be on the show years and years ago. And they had like a pre-made thing. And they've sold this forever. I mean, it's been around for a long time. This is Jack Daniels. Can't remember exactly what it was called. I'll find a picture for it and put it up. It's like their cola barrel something and other. Well, apparently they just went, hey, screw it. Let's just do a collaboration with Coca-Cola. Uh, cool. Okay, I don't know if these companies are owned by the same individual or not, but cool looking can, putting that Coca-Cola on there. I love, 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 oh, hold on. Mm. Mm. All right, sorry, there was a little thing in my mouth. Uh, a little piece of food. I love that the floodgates have opened and all of these companies that forever were refusing to do anything alcoholic with their brand because they're like, well, somebody please think of the children Profits, baby. There's one thing that's great about capitalism is if they see a path of just immense profits, F the kids. <laughs> F, F everyone. They will do whatever it takes to make a little bit of money. So I'm happy that they did this collaboration. Let's try out Jack Daniels with Coca-Cola. Uh, it is Tennessee whiskey. Just I found a lot of weird whiskeys today. I, I went to Total Wine as well. And I found there was like a gingerbread flavored whiskey how weird is that they got a cookie dough one uh almost bought the gingerbread one but i'm like i'm just not that big of it it's the bird dog whiskey which i used to get all the time i don't really screw much around with hard liquor anymore honestly i don't really drink anything other than seltzers seltzers tend to be it for me the cat is going nuts right now he's so happy that i'm <laughs> moving around here let me grab him okay he's being a big boy yeah but i mostly just drink seltzers now i don't know i just enjoy them i think they're casual easier to easier to do uh occasionally i will do beer uh but that is yo it's not that often so and what do you drink oh i only i only like cat treats that's what my passion is that's why i'm so chunky i love the cat treats so much Okay, he's, he's already annoyed with me. Bye, everybody. All right, he's happy. <laughs> Let's try out the Coca-Cola Jack Daniels. Uh, hey, here's a question for you guys. If you could have one major brand jump into the alcoholic game, doesn't matter if it's a beer, mixed drink, seltzer, whatever, what would you like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. I, I mean, I would have said Mountain Dew, but they're kind of the ones that started this, you know, cascade of companies giving in because the hard Mountain Dew is delicious. I cannot wait to find the Livewire version, which is come out. It came out separately from the big pack. And uh, my pick would be Rockstar then, uh, which I know apparently I was told that there used to be an alcoholic Rockstar way back in the day, way, way, way back in the day. But I'd like to see them re-release that or, you know, follow in the steps of Monster and release their own version of alcoholic sodas. That'd be great. All right, let's try this out. Hey, also, follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash reckless eating for gaming goodness. That is where I am most of the time. And follow us on Patreon, back us on Patreon uh, for all uh, access to all the videos that were too hot for YouTube, that YouTube made us delete, and all the newer videos that involve alcohol or anything like that. Here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. That tastes strong. That tastes like an actual mixed drink that you would make at like a party. I never really liked mixed drinks. I would just get them back in the day because that I preferred them over beer. Over time though, having more and more beer, I totally leaned more into beer. This is, whew, this is reminding me of like early going to parties, Matt and just stomaching this to get like a nice buzz. It's not a feeling that I like. <laughs> Give me seltzers all day, all night, or, you know, a really nice craft beer. I don't know about this. Oh, oh man, that'll put hair on your ball. Ooh, that is, I mean, it tastes like a well-made mixed drink. A little watered down though. It does taste like maybe the ice has been in there for a little while. It's not horrible. I can tell right now if you did all four of the cans in this pack, you are gonna feel it. 
But, you know, I don't know. It's kind of expensive. It was $13 for a four pack from where I got it from. I don't know if that's like a good price or a bad price. It seems about normal for something like this, especially with a brand name on it. Like I saw at Total Wine, they had a Kiss whiskey, like the band Kiss, and they had the normal bottle, it was $45. And I'm like, okay, I mean, that's expensive, but whiskey can get expensive. And then the premium one, which I don't know what the hell the difference was, but it was in like a nice box, was like $140. It's <laughs> like, what? Man, you must really love Kiss. Uh, the band I stand by sucks. <laughs> they kiss, you suck. Gene Simmons, Simmons, you suck, all right? And I will never forgive you for, I don't think he's still married to her, for at one point being married to Shannon Tweed, who made me suffer through the video game back in the day, Shannon Tweed, Attack of the Groupies. Okay, I'm on a rant. Let's get another little sip and rate it. Man, that lit it just tastes like a mixed drink. Like if you mix Jack Daniels with Coca-Cola, in all honesty, though, it kind of just tastes like Jack and Coke, like a generic Jack and Coke. I don't know that necessarily the Coca-Cola shines through as prominently. I'm not getting that, like, teeth grittiness that I always get when I do Coca-Cola. Uh, I would rate this, though, a 3 out of 5. It's fine. Uh, I think it's an awesome can, by the way. I love seeing, uh, you know, a brand like Coca-Cola on an alcoholic beverage. I think that's awesome. Uh, but this is just nowhere near as good as the Mountain Dew sodas. It's not even close. Uh, same with the, um, the Mountain Dew alcoholic sodas. The same as the Monster alcoholic sodas they just came out with. If, out of all those, I, I would definitely recommend the Monster ones. If you like Monster Energy Drink, I think that those taste a lot better. This just, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's more of a cool gimmicky item. I can't imagine this is going to stick around for much longer. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Enjoy this Twitch clip, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, finally, finally, I get it moment alone to wash up and just just relax oh god oh jesus christ no no <laughs> oh fuck me dude that was so close what just good lord <laughs> I, I see your me time was ended yeah, i'm swift. back at it and we're fine this momentary lapse fairly swiftly <laughs> jesus reckless eating reckless eating